What's going on people? Welcome to United View and welcome to the combined 11 for Manchester United's trip to Arsenal at the Emirates. I've had to wheel in some big hitters mm. from across the pond. Let's first go. of all, That's my car. guy Alexis yeah. Guerrero, as we say him. What's up baby? Welcome. Thank you for having me on the channel. Thank welcome you very much. I look forward to this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm with esteemed uh, guests. Well, yes. I'm the guest. Esteemed personnel. So this is beautiful. 100%. My man James, we say him. Come yeah, good. Thank you for having me. Again, we did a combined 11 back in November. Yeah, so, um, we did. And then you beat us. So that, yeah, well, well, this guy's on Arsenal Fan TV. I know it's crazy. <laughs> Les is like, this, I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, bro. And now I'm next to him. I've tapped on his head so that it goes forward 10 seconds. <laughs> How crazy is that? <laughs> this guy again. Oh, oh my enough. God. So, yeah. if you, you know, me and Alexis always do our thing on Complex as well. So every week, our show kicking it. Make sure you guys check that out. That's yeah. me and Alexis. And obviously, oh, now they get to see the the full view. Yeah, the full view. Well, I was going to say when you said esteemed guest, I thought you were talking about me. So, uh, <laughs> I gave you a bit of a side eye there for a second. Yeah, you did. Esteemed but he guest. said it, not me. Oh, he said yeah, it's yeah, fine. Said it's it. fine. Um, and welcome to the view pad. The the United View HQ is multi. Yeah, that's a clear clap. There's you a clap. Saying, and this is just. One element of the viewpad, we've got a lot more exciting stuff to come, but for today's purposes, we thought we'd keep it simple, Fleck, um, and get the best <laughs> version of um, a combined 11. So let's just get straight into it. Are you Obviously, scared? You should no, be I'm scared. Not, I'm not scared. What's the over under on United players that are even going to end up in this thing? I, do you know what I need to know? Mm. What this, like, what are the, the, metrics, the rules good. going right. into Great this? Great question. Yeah. Now, I believe, I believe to make, have the most fun out of the video yeah. and to make it the most relevant, let's just do who's available for the game. Great idea. Let's just do it because uh, we've both got injuries fine. and... I saw in your eyes that that's one player you yeah. wanted in there, you mm -hmm. can't put in there. So let's Listen, just that gives McTominay a chance, so... Yes! He, he right, well, there you go, that's what I'm saying. Who's <laughs> available for the game? We know we're in the mud. I ain't going to move on that because I'm excited and I'm in a good mood because you guys are here. I still know what this game is and I'm not convinced, but, <laughs> but I'm being honest. Positive thoughts. I've been working on you all day. Positive thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's get straight into it. Goalkeeper. Yes. Owen. David De Gea. Easy, easy for me. And I look, I know this is a contentious. Your goalkeeper point. union as well. Yeah, I know this is a contentious point because mm. look, Ramsdale's it's been really good. Contentious with your fans, even. <laughs> <It's right. laughs> yeah. yeah, because I know Ramsdale's been great for Arsenal this season. Young English goalkeeper, and people have been they've given him criticism in the last few years prior to joining Arsenal, right? Saying he's been relegated twice. Is he good enough? And he has stepped up. There's no doubt about that. And I'm not saying he's a bad keeper. He might be the best English keeper right now, right? I think mean, that's probably a fair uh, assessment. Yeah, yeah, I think he's so. He's your number one. Oh, is Nick, uh, Nick Pope? I don't know about that, mate. Mm, oh, no, no. Bro, Pope, oh. that's your number so one Nick right Pope's now. Nick Pope's all right, mate. It's the same. But it's, yeah, a fair, it's a fair assessment, but I yeah. just think David De Gea, the amount of points he has got us this season can't be understated. And I understand that Ramsdale might have got Arsenal points this season. Mm. If we didn't have David De Gea in goal, I shudder to think. Yeah, I, I shudder to think. And full, it's full, good like, full transparency. <laughs> James has got a point. Full yeah. transparency here, guys. I don't know how many more United players we're going to get. Yeah, so we've got, five, <laughs> yeah. We've, yeah. Got yeah. we've got five. We've got five. We've got to get one. You, yeah. you, you're doing a good job of fighting so far. For me, yeah. Before we go over to you guys, to me, David de Gea is still a better keeper than um, Aaron Ramsdale. Aaron Ramsdale is very much on the ascendancy. He's young, he's up and coming, a lot of question marks, I agree with that. People saying, what, 40 million was it? How much was it, 50? Uh, no, 20, 20, 20, 20, 24. 24. Yeah. Even the 24 yeah. was like... Yeah, it was a lot, yeah. Like, rising to 30. Rising to 30, yeah. people are like, no way, I like what he's done. A lot more high fives than saves. I will, you know, but... But it's all about building a team well, camaraderie. Yeah, oh, he does... <laughs> no, he does this thing, which I've always said... They do that salt, man. It is, it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, he, he grinds me. He yeah, just has this little thing. You see with the Chelsea like, fans. And yeah. The, uh, well, you know what? You, you need people like that in your team, especially yeah. if you're trying to build what you guys are starting to get, which is an A team. But for me, David De Gea has to be. I mean, oh God, please. No, nah, because I feel like I can't argue this. Ah, look at that. You go for the Do you know? Yes. This is my thing. Shut <laughs> This is my thing. This is my thing. I, would ne I, wouldn't, I wouldn't trade Ramsdale for De Gea. For me, if you guys came and said, Summer, yeah. do you want to do a swap? I wouldn't do it. Um, and that's not even just a potential But we wouldn't as well. That's not even a potential your thing. Manager, that is even, but your manager for this next match, yeah. and you're, you're doing the lineup sheet, and you yeah, see De Gea yeah. and Aaron Ramsdale, yeah. who oh, are you starting? Yeah, big game. Shot stopping. You can bro, bro, like, De Gea, Listen, stop trying to rattle it's us. True. Okay? It's we're, true. We're having a little bit of a team. We're just having a little team okay, meeting. Right, yeah. My thing is... 
Nah, I don't know. Nah. James ain't feeling it. Alexis takes shot. He ain't feeling uh, it. He's out. I, it's I three on one. It's three on one. You even. It's all right, I lost. Hold on. I know I lost, but let me say right. my piece. Do you think? Even if you believe Pope should be number one out of these players that we can choose, this is the best English keeper. He's. Yeah, he is. I agree with that. Uh, what are we talking about? This is potentially your nation's goalkeeper, and you picking De Gea? Yes. yes, that's incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Of course. Look, yeah. fine, fine. Apparently, has <laughs> your loyalty. <laughs> Big shock that a Manchester United fan. Well, I was speaking a Spanish guy over an English guy. Yeah, what? Well, club before country, bro. <laughs> Yo. We ain't patriotic like the Americans, bro. This is this is <laughs> huge. <laughs> shock. First of all, the United States of America. <laughs> <laughs> Big shock. Big shock that a Manchester United fan is using the past as an excuse to no, the future. No, the present, bro. He's still bro. saving shots week this by week. This, right, not day, making mistakes. To this day, right, right to this day, right now. Now, yeah. Aaron Ramsdale is to me a more it's inspirational, a more inspirational keeper. More inspirational. Hold on a second. He first of all, it's he communicates way more, way more vibes. You know, the vibes are infinite with him. And yeah. I actually, believe, even though he does whatever TV, you know, TV saves or whatever, yeah. or he's all hot fives or whatever, he stops. He saves the ball. He stops the shot. So so, I I think De Gea is a better shot stopper personally. Is he? And, is he and, 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 and has I, saved United much more than than Rams have saved Arsenal season. However, which you can say is a positive because you're playing well down after Milan yeah, as much. I think I think across the board though, I think Rams are better with his feet, yeah. better, yeah. better long and short distribution, which yeah. is better with his feet. Um, so better with balls into the box. Think about the back line. Who's going to feed the ball to the, the back line? We're I about to think pick. If, if my Gehea team's under the Rams cosh for ninety minutes, I want to hear not. Ramsdale, I think. But yeah, and my point of view would be this. under the cost. If we had Ramsdale in gold for us this season, I think we'd maybe be six points worse off. Facts. That's true. Okay. I didn't know you went out and found a mole. I'm offended. <laughs> I'm offended. I'll right. let y'all have the David De Gea is in. I'm just glad y'all are saying De Gea, not De Gea. David De Gea is in. Now. Okay, they've got their one now. Right. right. Now it's over. Yeah, it's yeah cut the string. Yeah, no, no. Right. Don't, don't, I mean, uh, we might as well just. <laughs> We might as well just hit this button right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Listen there. So here's your squad right here, boy. Okay. Um, right back with who's available for the game. We Our options are Diogo Dallo and Aaron Wan-Bissaka. Mm -hmm. You do have Tomiyasu back in the squad. Yes. But when we're saying the word available, let's be honest with what available actually means. About a long time, there is yep. very minimal chance he starts this game, no? I've prepped Surely. for this. I've prepped for this. So I don't think he's soft, but said, he's available. It's got to be Cedric, even over Tommy Asu. We're it's saying who's the best right back of the So you put Tommy Asu in right now, 90 minutes against us, uh, against Man United when he hasn't played for months. My Tomorrow. guy is him. Ben, ben White right back. Ben White. I think because when we get oh, to this. Oh, okay. When we get to the centre backs, yeah. I think we're going to be a little. I would say sport for choice. We've got some good options there. Well, Varane's back fit, and if you're doing it where they haven't played for a bit, but all of a sudden they're back, I don't know. Well, so is Varane Varane's available playing tomorrow. for you? Varane's playing tomorrow. Yes. Well, for me... Bro, you're dragging us in a month. For me... <laughs> Alex is like, don't do that. Put Tommy Asley. That's what yeah. like. For me, and then maybe we're skipping ahead a little bit, it's white right back, Varane, Gabriel, and then we can discuss left back. But I can get with that. Lindelof. Is Lindelof? Lindelof. Don't you I dare think, mention no, his name. No, he's good. He's been obviously. Yeah, he's, a, he's a decent player. Yeah, but that's I, say, I, I, think it means, I think it means we might get more players yeah, in the team. To do it that way. Yeah. <sighs> I'm willing to concede. Well, were you going to concede? Oh, oh, you were going to concede. So it's 3 1 again before we've even spoken. He's not happy with the performance yes. of James Bird. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Sorry. Let's go, Alexis. What You've got the world's worst team. He's saying Ben White right back. I didn't expect that one. What are you thinking, Alexis? I hate Ben White at right back. I think centre back should be partners. I think for me, Gabriel and Ben and Ben White, that's a great partnership. There's been moments where you know one of the two of them have made mistakes, but so far I feel like they're building that partnership. It doesn't matter so much in a combined eleven what the partnership is. So fine, I'll give you Ben White at right back. But yo, if your name is Arteta, do not watch this video. I don't want to see this come match day. So fine, you can have them. Listen, so we, we were not going to leave Varane. Listen, I'm all for a bit of rivalry and banter here. We weren't going to leave Varane out, were we? Well, yeah. if he, if he was still... Yeah, yeah. He don't, don't, this, guy, this guy, yeah. he's not normal. So he's you, know, you know he just signed a new partnership for his boots, right? New sponsorship? They're made from Plaster of Paris. This dude spends all the time in the hospital, bro. Champions League, Varane. <laughs> we're like your boy Kieran Where was that? Where's Kieran Tini? Huh? Where's Kieran Tini? He's, he's, he's more of a sick note than Varane. Anyway, right, okay. He's not nice. So we've gone with Ben White. <laughs> you kind of skipped forward there. I did a little with bit. With something that we was trying to kind of get behind because we get an extra one in. I can take it. Varane and Gabriel. Can we get an extra one in? So did you think... I, th I honestly thought we'd I really have for right back, but you were going to go... 
Why Tommy Asu, and yeah. that would mean Gabriel and uh, ben, ben White. White because yeah. And realistically, when it comes to the right back thing, we can't push that much. No. I've got nothing. We can't. I've got nothing. <laughs> we haven't. No, yeah, yeah. And I'm not about to get excited and forget how shit we've been. Yeah. I think I, I might have bluffed you a little bit. I think Wyatt to the right back has been a little... You're too uh, late, James. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, he said it now. I, I, I don't think White has been a disaster at right back at all, but I agree I wouldn't take him. For this game, I'd, I'd want him at centre-back with Gabriel. Yeah. But, Liz, how can I leave out? How can I leave out Varane? I know he's not the best season, but... Well, Alexa said to me earlier yeah. that um, Varane is uh, that uh, Ben White is better than Varane. I said if you start oh, the team today, he said I he's said a better player. If you start the team he's... today, you pick Ben White over Varane. No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Because, but, because he's because he's ready and fit tomorrow. Oh. And if it was a choice, Varane goes in. If Varane, is, that if Varane is available, he, he has had a poor season. Varane has yeah, really. Well, yes. when, he's, when yeah. he's played, he's been fine. He's played. Has he? When he's played, he's been fine. He's, been, yeah. he's just had. A That's the thing. The times I've been at a gym, I work out infinitely. You know what I mean? I work in incredible. I've been in the gym twice. He's still not better player than Varane. No chance. You pay, I said if you start the team no today, chance. you buy him Ben White over Varane. And how much are you paying Varane? I'm happy to do a deal on That's White. Right, right. Okay, so right. okay, let's move this on. Ben White right back. Yeah, 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 so we'll yeah. see. We we're going to we'll we'll be go more Varane. in the middle here. We'll go Varane, yeah. right centre back. Sure. And then you're going to go Gabriel, left centre back. I mean, yeah. that's pretty strong in the combined 11. Yeah. That's solid. That's solid. My OCD is winding me up. Yeah. So I'm just going to. Give him a little bit more space. That is solid. Them two there, I, would, I wouldn't mind that. I'll take it. Yeah. I think okay. we've got a real problem at left back, guys. Well, I say a real problem because we have a real problem. We've yes. only got one available. That's Alex Tellez and he's been pony. And he didn't even play against Liverpool. We had a right... Uh, we had Dallow. Yeah, he said that he was so <laughs> bad, he went, I'm going to put Dallow left back. So uh, Shaw, sorry, Shaw's not available. Shaw's no. got screws taken out of his legs. He's End of season. Oh, yeah. God. I do think yet. Tellez played well against Arsenal at Old Trafford, but... I don't Tavares has been pony as well. I don't think you guys have. I tell when he was playing to the last couple of the games. Tavares, so is he been this is trying to this is trying to polish the shit. Really. So here comes it's Nuno all day. What are uh, we doing? Yeah, I think the Arsenal bias comes out here a little bit. It helps that you guys don't have great options. I think Tavares okay. has been made a scapegoat. He's had one or two bad games: Forest and Palace, right? Taken off at half time, both in it. Yeah, we, he, well, he didn't complete. Yeah, he didn't even complete a game yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. Guys, right? he's young. But it's yeah. his first time in the Premier League, and he went months without playing. Can Throughout we the season, experience? he's been fine. He was a big part of the Inketia goal that puts us three-two up. Yeah. Um, he's he's kind of he's unpredictable. Listen, he's, he's a wild card. Like you don't know. He might cost you the game. Mm. He might win it for you. Um, and For the you most could part, argue, he's been pretty stable. And there was a moment of time where it was his position where we thought when Kieran, Kieran Tierney came back from injury, he yeah. wouldn't be automatically put in. So come on. A good example. We went to Anfield with him at left back. Tierney was fit, but he mm. was playing really well. So Arteta stuck with him. And he actually, <laughs> people are going to think I'm crazy. He, he did a good job on Salah. For most of the game, Salah wasn't really involved. Mm. One pass back to the keeper, got it wrong, yeah. they scored. And, it was all and then he started to kind of get a little bit, but he was great for 50, 60 games, 50, 60 minutes of that game. And how old is Nuno? So I'd, I'd, I'd go with three? Tavares personally. The problem, but the problem that I've got here. We're both saying Tavares. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. And the problem that we've got with them saying Tavares is Luke Shaw's out of it and has been shit all year. Yeah. Um, Alex Tellez, for us gassing up the delivery and all of this, that frustrates me so much. Dead ball Paul. specialist. Can't be the first man. Yeah. That, I mean, you did get an assist the other day for Ronaldo, but, but it's not. But how, but how many corners or free exactly. kicks have we seen where that, that's meant to be yeah. a speciality? And defensively. So it's not it's not great, but we haven't really got a, a dog in this fight. No, really. No. Good. So it's, it's, a <laughs> it's true. It's true. It's true. When it's like that, just keep it simple. Yeah. Is that yeah. far enough, James? I don't want you to I'll say push, push him on a little yeah. bit. We'll move. We'll move. Yeah. Yeah. Pull it out. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Curve it up a little bit. Let's okay. See. Right, there we are. So there we go. That's, That's the, the back, back five. Let us know what you guys are saying. I can't believe you let him sneak a goddamn United. Okay, we're going to pick know, up the I'm pace sorry, a little I'm bit sorry. now, right? But don't worry, we're winning now. It's three to two. We're going to pick up the pace. So out of the players we've got available midfield for tomorrow. Right. This just makes it easy because we'll be here for ages if all of the players are available. Yeah. There is no Paul Pogba. Mm -hmm. There is no Fred. Mm -hmm. Fred's a big one for me. There's no Thomas Partey. There's no Thomas Partey. Um, so there's three that's definitely out. So our ones to pick from as mm -hmm. the two holding midfielders are Xhaka. El Nenny. Lukonga, El Nenny, mm -hmm. and McTominay is back fit and will mm -hmm. definitely start for us tomorrow, mm -hmm. and Matic. Mm. I'm going to say, a plethora of I, me personally, Shaka's first yeah, choice out of all that. Out of what we just said, Shaka's got to go in. Right? Out, okay. out of that, I would which is, this is, this is poor, by the way, with the, the selection <laughs> we've got, but yeah, he's all the way over there. Shaka's in there. Right yeah, yeah. I've got him. 
Oh, go on. And the fact that that's a sentence, by the way, because talk about a tumultuous time at Arsenal, right? At several points during his Arsenal career, he's not exactly been a fan favourite. And the no. fact that we're saying now, in this combined 11 first choice, he was, goes he was excellent against Chelsea. Phenomenal. I wanted really him awesome. to never put yeah. that shirt back on, and I'm glad yeah. he did. Yeah. Okay, so we agree on that one. Yeah. I'm going to say for balance of play, I'm saying McTominay over El Nenny and Lukonga's not ready yet. We've seen that with Arteta. He's young. He's coming yeah. up. I like Zambi. I like. Sambi. But he's not better than McTominay. I like Lukonga. I think he's very talented, and he'll better. be a better player than McTominay. But eventually, maybe. Now? But no chance. He's better than McTominay now. McTominay's not even it. It. No, but he's not even really a this. defensive midfielder. He's a, no. box, a box midfielder. He's kind of a square peg in a round hole when it comes to McTominay. But yeah. when he doesn't play. We do miss him. You, yeah. you can't argue Could we be facts. clever here? Could you could you squeeze an Odegaard in there or something? Well, we've got number 10 to come here. So. Odegaard needs to... We, we need him for Bruno. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this. I'll tell you that right by what James just gave off there. I'm telling you now. He's thinking Bruno gets it. I know he is. And it's making me so mad. We weren't thinking that sense. If we get McTominay in, we're about two up them already. Exactly. Than we thought. Here's, can I just say this? Shaka and El Elneny played really well together. They did. But a better pair of them would be Jacko. Can I... This is why I, I can't want. disagree with that. Yeah. If they and weren't that's upsetting me. <laughs> <if> they, <laughs> I really wanted to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they weren't in so many ways the exact same player, I'd want Matic in there. I think he's better no. than McTominay. But it's just age. It's age at but, that point. Two left footed, deep line defenders. We're talking about this. Do you know what? Yeah. You're actually I agree. In terms of the like keeping composure in a game, mm. bringing some calmness, Matic is better on the board than McTominay. Yeah. However, the balance of them two, if you, but would those two just be better quality? Nah, no, because you're McTominay. No, I'm just going to cover the back line because Shaq was McTominay. There was no pace in there. You'd yeah. steam all through him, so McTominay, McTominay makes let's, it. Let's, yeah. let's keep it moving. God, I kind of wish Pogba was fit. Just I know, so that we just could, um, but he's been absolutely I actually would have went with Pogba. On form. Oh, Pog, Pogba makes this. Yeah. By, by the way, it's Pogba parte when everyone's fit, right? Yes, yes, yes. 100%. But even if that was the case going into this game and Paul Pogba could play, we've been so disgusting. I'm being deadly serious. You say, is it Pogba parte, but Pogba this season he's been through I would, I would, argue, I would argue Partey and Fred was probably more yeah, effective legitimately a discussion right now I'd still always get Pogba in if we're talking we can do. if we're talking like the last like six weeks yeah yeah, but then, but then the way you're talking, when you're saying you're still always put Pogba, it means you probably always put Bruno. But that's, Bruno's gonna. But that's I can't the, believe you're going to go for Bruno. Pogba no, dilemma. No, 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 I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I just hit the Arsenal. Okay, go back, go. go back. They can hear you. They can hear you, James. Right, combined eleven. Right, let's let's move this on. Let's move this on. We've got Xhaka. We're going four, two, three, one. Yeah. So now we're going for the number ten. Now, is it Odegaard or is it Bruno? Let's start here because I know what they're going to say. Well, they're going to say Odegaard, and obviously I have a bias to try and go for Bruno, but mm. look, if you're going on recent form, you probably would go with Odegaard. You probably would. I think if you're looking at... We're not looking at historic, though. I'm not going to go back on my own rules here. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I, I'd be willing to say Odegaard. If I was picking the team tomorrow, yeah. I would probably say over form, I would probably go Odegaard, which I know will upset a lot of people. Do you disagree, Flex? This makes this this one is probably I know we've been really poor, but this is probably the one that upsets me the most because I've been super critical of Bruno Fernandes recently, petulant, blaming people against Liverpool. I mean, we discussed it off camera. Just, Walk, walking just, off the pitch, just literally not not giving a crap. And six months ago, you'd probably have a way different response. A hundred percent. It's hard because you you think of what he's done and you think of his ceiling and how he can affect games in any moment. He's there, but. Odegaard, I saw a stat, he's made the most chances in the league over since, Bruno and De Bruyne November, yeah. since November. Uh, it's hard to argue that he's in shit hot form now and he's doing his thing. That, mm. that weight of pass that he gave to Smith Rowe, oh, um, yeah. you know, people it looks forget. Easy. It looks easy with Smith Rowe finish and it looks yeah. great on the eye, but when you dissect what he's done, he's played the pass out to Saka, he's mm -hmm. followed the play, he's then received it, taken two touches, and the weight of pass and yeah. the decision making he usually makes is way better than Bruno's yeah. in terms of keeping the play ticking and helping you. How many more goals does uh, Cristiano Ronaldo have this season if Odegaard is his uh, number 10? I'm not question. sure. I'm I don't know. That's a feasible one yeah. because the, the I think whole, more. I think more. I'm not sure it affects it. To be honest, that much. Man United is so broken; it's hard to quantify that. Because some of Ronaldo's you know goals I mean? have just been so spontaneous. That, yeah. You know, Bruno okay. isn't necessarily. You also agree, Odegaard, right? Because yeah, I it. agree. We discussed this in combined eleven back. You talk. I just, so, just want to see him in. Do it. So do for it. me, for me, it's a style thing as well. I've never really liked a player of Bruno Fernandez's style. More of a final third gets the goals and assists but mm. does he get a team ticking Bruno I don't know doesn't um, control the game doesn't, doesn't control, control the game. game Odegaard a lot of people will measure him by goals and well maybe mainly assists right yeah, yeah. he's actually the past before this is I know people yeah. get really annoyed by these kind of stats assist of assist yeah, yeah. all that 
But how the amount of times he's a guy who waits to pass the pass a sacker before the cutback yeah. and those kind of things. The facilitator. He, he gets yes, he gets us playing. I love him. I and this is where MLS is great because they count both of those as assists, by the way. <laughs> like hockey. <laughs> uh, I will be honest before we move on. I think when both players are at their best. Different I'm having Bruno. Different conversation. But Bruno's so far off it right now. A little older too. Bruno has a little bit more. Yeah, he's in his prime, or should yeah. be in his prime. But you know, there you go. Okay. Want to go left? Left. We haven't really got anything because Sancho's been poor. If I look wow, at wow, really? Sancho. Sancho's been poor. Sancho's been really odd because you have the start of the season betting in Sancho. You don't put too much stress on him. You then have an informed Sancho, Carrick and Ranić, early Ranić, then you have Sancho in maybe the last two or three weeks, mm. where he's been a bit of a, go- bit of a ghost. Mm. So you can't, he's a really difficult one. I think inconsistent would I be I really fair, thought you guys would fight more for Sancho. Yeah, it's, bit, it's hard because wow. if I'm looking at Martinelli on the left or Smith-Rowe on the left, yeah. as in tomorrow, yeah. I believe they're going to give more than what Sancho's going to give because of how, this, how broke this team is. Mm-hmm. Ceiling-wise, it's Sancho for me all day, over both for me, you know? He's more experienced than both. Um, he's been at a higher level than both. I know not a Man United, but Bundesliga. he's, yeah, it doesn't matter. And he's done it in the Champions League, you know what I mean? Been in England squads, he's done bits. Come to Man United, he's had a, he's had a tough season like everyone has because the team's been awful. Mm. So ceiling wise, and who's the better player overall, I'm still gonna say Sancho, but I just don't wanna bring that bias into picking a team that's for tomorrow based off and the form. mind, he was brought to play on the right. Yeah. Not even on the left. Exactly. He was meant to be our right-sided exactly. saviour, and then we realised actually he's a left-sided I, I like Sancho a lot, and I think yeah. we do this thing where he was brilliant, he was a wonder kid, all these things, it's not worked out as well as we thought, and suddenly he's rubbish, he's this way. Yeah. I think he's a top player, but mm. when you mentioned ceiling, Maybe not Smith Rowe as much, but I think Martinelli's got levels to go up still. Mm. Um, he's the one I would say. He's still um, really raw right now, though. Which I wouldn't be surprised if three, four years time we're talking about Martinelli surpassing Sancho. I, yeah. I, I, that is that is I, enough time for me to agree with you. But right now, I can't even tell you what's the best position for Martinelli. Is mm-hmm. it that left where he wants to play? Well, that's true. Is he really up top? And ESR off the bench for he's most got double of the season. season ten, he? ten goals this season. That's He's the a thing, and Martinelli's so output soccer. hasn't been brilliant. It's more, he terrorises teams. Mm. You know, he didn't score assist against Liverpool, but Klopp's there waxing lyrical. Yeah. Especially after the last yeah. match. I'm and that creates that narrative that he's doing way better than he may be. Uh, it's, for me, it's a mess with Rose. Especially the last Smith Rowe's been out for a while, and he's, he, he started off really well, then he got injured, then he wasn't in for a bit, then he's come back in the last couple of years. He's been a bit... So I'm voting Martinelli, you're voting Smith Rowe. I'm going Smith Rowe. He's got 10 so goals this season. Guys. 10 goals. If you two double up and get Sancho, that'd be so annoying. We'll have to. Well, it's got to be Jane Sancho, and that's <laughs> yeah, make it yeah. interesting. Do you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put Sancho and Smith Rowe up there and put it to the comments. That's what no, we're gonna Martin, do. Martin, no, he wants Martin. Oh, you want Martin Eddie? It's actually yeah. between the three of them. What do you think the comments would be for that? Right. Maybe we can leave one position down to the comments. Martin Ellie, he hasn't even got a picture. That's how much we rate him. Mm. On the left, Here's, I'll take that. He's up. a Smith ghost. Rose. I'll take that up with production. How can you do that to my boy Martinelli? Okay. <laughs> it was flex. There you go. Oh, well, it was flex's fault. Bloody hell. We're going to put this one to the comments. That's what it's about. It's about the community. Um, mm. And it's about you guys. We, we were undecided. Oh, there, there you go. go. Uh, there you go. It just doesn't want to do it. It's not doing it now. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Well, Where Sancho is... Where is Sancho on the bar fan? Click the... Right. Oh, yeah. Let's go further down. Right, now let's go, right, okay. Um, there. We were undecided, yeah? Mm-hmm. So you guys choose. It goes to the comments. Let's move on because it was too hard. This one's super easy. And by the way, if you're voting for a Millsworth Road, just put an American flag in the comments. <laughs> we didn't have one genuine left back. And sorry, sorry, no. Nuno. And we, um, have three. we don't need to talk to you and you don't need to talk to us. All right, let's fine. do the right hand side. I agree with that. <laughs> yeah. like, what are you you weren't going to say Laka's there, right? No. Disrespect to Eddie and Laka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we, we're already, we're already show, going over. Show him on Saturday, Let's cut Eddie. the small talk. Yeah. Uh, so no need right, to talk about the goat. Right wing then. And um, really, this is the same. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is the same. We haven't got a dog in this race. Big day. up, men, honorable mention to Anil Langa. He's trying to do his thing. It's he'll not, be there in time. He'll be in the It's not hard to outperform Rashi at the moment, but there can only be one. Well, I managed to get it wrong immediately. Good stuff. There we are. Okay. So, as we wrap up, 4-2-3-1. Well, 
a bit more than 4-2-3-1 <laughs> at the moment, yeah. but we will get there. That's crazy. David De Gea, uh, Alexis tried to fight, but it was 3-1 outvoted even by his own guy. Um, ben White, he wasn't <laughs> happy about that as well, but we were happy. Varane and Gabriel, Tavares, we haven't really got a dog unless you guys really want to fight for Alex Tellez, which I'm not sure a lot of you lot will. McTominay and Xhaka, I think was the best balance for what we could do. And what's available tomorrow, if you're just joining the video late, it's what's available, right, as we speak. Mm. Um, would you want to see Matic and Xhaka for more calmness, and, but two left footers, two very similar players? I'm not so sure about that. Lack of dynamism a little bit. Exactly. Or someone say Lukonga, I don't know. Um, mm, I Odegaard know. Bruno was yeah. really... <laughs> if he was in there. Odegaard Bruno was really interesting. It made me the most uncomfortable because I feel when they're both performing at their best with what we've seen of Bruno, this shouldn't even be a conversation, in my opinion. But it has to be a conversation now because... Overall, I think Odegaard's out and out a better player, but that is just my opinion. Fair enough. I completely fair enough. agree. And you know what? I can see why people think that because of the way he plays the game. It but helps the too. team play. Bruno's very gun ho Bruno's very go for it. But with what he's done for us when he's been in his good moments... On their best day, I think it's a different conversation. Yeah. But not one for today. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right side, I don't think any of us can argue with Bukayo Saka. Let us know if you guys do. And this is the big one. Martinelli, Smith, Rowe, Sancho. We were all undecided. You wanted Martinelli. You wanted Smith, Rowe. Uh -huh. We were like, maybe Sancho, but maybe it's one of them two, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no discussions about the GOAT. No point doing who the manager should be. Well, Eric Tan Hag or, uh, or uh, Mikel Arteta, but that's a bit unfair. We can't do that now. So let us know what your visa comments are in the boxes below. That is our 4 2 3 1 formation for combined 11. Have me and Owen been too lenient? You guys have seen my energy in the lead up to this game. You've seen Owen's energy. I've seen you guys' energy in the comments with how poor we've been and how much we're not looking forward to this game. We've got a little bit of a booth with, with Varane, McTominay and Ronaldo back, but I still feel very downbeat about this I'm game. I'm shocked y'all got this many United players Yeah, right exactly. So you can I'm, tell this is United view. I'm a little annoyed we let McTominay just stroll in without Lukonga on it. You don't want to do Ben White we'll, right back. Well, we'll, we'll, <laughs> well, because yeah, he's better than them two, yeah. for me. We'll, he's better we'll, than we'll, 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 we'll leave. You know? There you go. Anyway, guys, smash the like on the video, subscribe if you guys are new. Make sure you guys check out AFTV and check out James. He's always on there doing great stuff. Make sure you check out Alexis Guerrero's on the socials and the YouTube channel and Soccer Cooligans, Cooligans as well. At Soccer Cooligans on everything. Check it out. Um, and make sure you check out Owen's channel. The links are in the video description below as well. And always, peace.